It's an amazing earthquake story. We're transforming the city in many ways. I'm Simon Kingham. I'm a professor at the University of Canterbury and I cycle about nine and a half K across town every day to work. There's a mantra about cycleways that says, build it and they will come. And that's being shown here in Christchurch. The numbers have gone up 30% since they started being built. And actually on the major cycleways, it's over a 40% increase in the number of people cycling. It's a real success story. What we know is when you have few people cycling, the proportion of women is much lower. The more people you get cycling, you get more women. And that's partly because of the, the danger and the perception of danger and the fear of cycling. We're now on one of the major cycleways, and this is physically separated. And on busy roads, like this one, we need to be separated from traffic to make people feel safe. You do this regularly? Uh, every day. Every day? Love it. <laughs> do you? Absolutely. Is this typical of what we'd see? This is typical, we're probably just outside the rush hour, probably in rush hour there's even more people, but this is normal. I'm dreading the day I miss a light. <laughs> I haven't missed a light yet, but it's going to come because there's too many cyclists. What a wonderful problem to have. Christchurch has got a long history of cycling. street is flat, so there are bicycles everywhere. This is a city of cycles. After the earthquakes, the council held a, a public engagement called Share an Idea, and providing for biking, building more cycleways was the second highest ranked item that the public wanted. This is interesting. This is one of the traffic counters that tells us how many people have cycled so far. So what we can see is so far this year, over 200,000 cyclists have come past this point, and just today, over 720. So how does it know? It's some sort of fancy counter, I don't know how it does it. Right, Every next time the bikes cross the brick, these plates, deck goes off. Wow. I'm the resident homeless boy down here, so I keep an eye on that, I like it. Well, we have a climate change emergency, and countries that have higher mode share of, of biking are happier countries. And Hagley Park, this is the jewel in the crown. This is my best bit of my journey. I get my dose of green space. I honestly feel my mental health has improved by cycling. I've no doubt about it. I, I've driven a couple of times to work recently and I felt quite stressed. I cycle and I feel great. It really enhances my well-being, I've no doubt about it. With the increase in the number of people cycling because of the cycleways, we're starting to see a greater diversity and a greater range of types of people cycling. Yeah, this is our main form of transport. We ride the girls to preschool drop-off every day and Matt picks up the groceries on it and we also go out to the swimming pool, library, cafes. My name is Michael Reynolds and I run Tohakai. We decided six months ago to move towards an electric bike delivery system to reduce our environmental impact. We can fit about 21 boxes in one blow. The acceleration on this is pretty epic. I can get up to 20 k's an hour in less than a second. Good. And that's on the lower setting. I haven't dared go up to setting five yet. <laughs> I don't even know what that looks like. Well, this is about a 10-year-old Danish electric cargo bike. Yeah, the technology has moved on quite a bit now. I've got my eye on a new one. Well, this is another bike. Yep. It's a recent Mueller, which is one of the top brands of cargo bikes. And they run from uh, anywhere from 13,000 to 21,000. 
This is near the top model here with dual batteries. It's got the belt drive, full suspension, even uh, a rain cover for the dog. This is not uncommon that after about half past nine, you get a big groups of recreational cyclists going out. And I think they're only going out because of the cycleways. And it's such a beautiful hobby. I mean, one of the beauties of cycling is we're trying to encourage people to do something that they like doing. We've got all these great cycleways here. If I go north or south, I can ride on a cycleway. I can feel safe. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 73. I'm 84. Really? Still doing it? Yes, because it keeps you active. Yeah. And you're out in the fresh air enjoying nature. What more could you want? Do you reckon when you reach 100 that you'll be riding on your birthday? <laughs> no, you never know, do you? <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> it would be excellent. <laughs> this is my second favourite part of the journey. We're going through Dean's Bush and Rickerton House. And again, it's, it's the greenery and nature and no cars. It's beautiful. And the network of major cycleways is 100 kilometres, but hopefully that'll just be the start, and after that we'll get more. It should be the start, it shouldn't be the finish. And here we are. Nine and a half K, 25 minutes, and I've had a lovely start to my day.